Today I want to talk to you about the temperature of your sealing wax and that's really what's going to determine how good your wax seals are is the temperature of the wax and so I want to show you a few examples of how you'll know your wax is not warm enough and how you'll know it's too warm and what the perfect consistency is when it's just right. Okay so this is an example of when the wax is not warm enough. You can see it's harder for me to squeeze and it's coming out a little bit uh, not like a nice flow. So this one will still work but it'll dry. Look it's already cooled. It cools really fast and sometimes you'll get like on the back how there's this um, kind of impressions that you can see. Sometimes you'll get similar impressions like that on the front um, if the wax is not warm enough. Okay, so this wax right here is coming out really runny. This wax is too hot. It's still usable and so I can still put my stamp in it but it's just gonna take a little bit longer to cool. And sometimes, if I move this over a little bit, you can see how there's like more over here. Sometimes if it's so runny, there's like a huge amount of excess of wax on the lip of the seal. So that's why you don't want it to be too runny is it takes too long to cool. And sometimes it can get you some really irregular shaped wax seals. Okay, so this wax is exactly the right temperature that we're wanting. You can see it's a little thicker than the runny version. It holds its shape a little better. And then we're just going to put the stamp in. So what do you do if the, your wax is too hot? Simply unplug your gun and it will cool down the wax. And then if it starts to get the wax gets too hard again, then just plug it back in. So that's what I'm doing all the time when I'm making my wax seals. It's a constant back and forth of unplugging the gun and replugging it back in. So that is how that wax seal turned out. And then I'm going to show you 